Uh, so yeah, it was literally that, or literally I wouldn't have time to upload anything. For context on how busy my schedule is, I just turned down $1,250 American. As a Canadian, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I just turned that down into sponsorship because they messaged me about a game I'm very interested in that actually looks like a lot of fun, but... And they messaged me about it, like, over a month ago, and they're like, Hey, would you be up for doing some, like, let's play videos on our game we're coming out with It's This? And it's actually a game I had been looking at, and that looked fun. I won't say the name, just because I don't like disclosing the amount of money or anything about the contract if I'm gonna say who it was. It just feels mean to them. Um, because it looks like a really good game and everything. And I'm probably gonna play it anyway. But they messaged me... Uh, about just gauging interest, I said, like, of course I'm interested. It looks like a really fun game. And then they didn't message me back for over a month, and then they just asked again, like, am I still interested? And I'm like, yeah, but you guys haven't sent me the key to start checking out the game yet. And then they asked, like, okay, uh, would you be able to get the video, the first video in the series done tomorrow so that we can check, uh, make sure it's good for the contract, and then you can publish it the next day? I just explained to them, like, I'm sorry, but... Uh, that's too last minute for me. The whole week is booked up. If you had just given me the key back then, this would have been fine, but, like, no, I'm, I'm not gonna just put my own stuff on hold to do the sponsorship. Like, and, and also, one of the things in the contract was, like, don't have another, um, you can't put up another video within 24 hours of it to try and keep people from, like, spamming out a bunch of videos and it getting lost. And I also said to them, like, I also can't agree to that because I don't want to bait and switch anybody. Like, for as much as people think that, like, ah, I, I labeled it as a Pokemon Stadium thing, I tried to give you guys a warning, because it's kind of Pokemon Stadium, kind of not. I, I tried to make it clear that, like, this is a weird one. Um, but, like, no, I, I just turned down what is a lot of money for me, because it would interfere with the rest of the channel. I just explained to them, like, no, I, I gotta do the things that are on my schedule. Um, their last response I heard from them was actually very understanding, and they're trying to push the date to still make it work and renegotiate things, so who knows? Maybe it will still happen, and maybe it won't. Uh, but I told, told them under no uncertain terms, I'm sorry, I simply can't rush these things. I am actually too busy for that, and I, I care more about keeping up with the schedule than I do the paycheck. Mm -hmm. And I think they really respected that because it's an indie game studio, this isn't some kind of AAA studio that could just find anybody to do this stuff. They seem to actually specifically want me, which is flattering. I appreciate that. Um, but, and that's not me bragging, by the way, that, ooh, I'm getting offered $1,250. I'll tell you right now, most YouTubers get offered significantly more than that for significantly less. I get offered significantly more than that for significantly less. It's just usually for Raid Shadow Legends and I say no. Uh, <laughs> I just get asked immediately, to do not, yes, not I, interested. I, I, I get asked almost every week for Raid Shadow Legends and they they offer, it's different companies. They have many companies that'll offer it to you. And sometimes and, it's me asking him, which is the weird thing. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I always just politely decline because I don't think there's anything wrong with taking a Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, challenge. Honestly, I think the majority of people I've seen who argue and say, like, it's unethical in some way to take a Raid Shadow Legends thing is... has no legs to stand on. It's usually someone who doesn't know anything about how the sponsorships work at all. They've never seen one of these contracts in their life. They've never been offered one of these things. They've never read one of these things. They don't understand how lenient they are with these things. I've read the contracts. They offer me the contracts. I'm the one saying no to them, so I've read them. And I can tell you, no, there's nothing unethical about doing a 30-second advert for a video game you don't need to play if you don't like the advert for it. And the, and the person gets very good money that they aren't getting from your views, because views aren't worth very much money. It's really, really, really genuinely supporting the YouTubers for no skin off anyone else's back, because you can just skip the advert in the video if you don't like it. Don't judge people harshly for trying to feed their families, guys. Sorry, I just wanted to get that out there, because I see a lot of people being very needlessly cruel to people who take specifically Raid Shadow Legends things. Mm -hmm. I don't take Raid Shadow Legends um, sponsorships, because you know me, you know I am very stubborn when it comes to what I'm willing to put up on my show. Yes, and I know like, you. I, You're on the I am. Yeah, I, I'm incredibly stubborn when it comes to sticking to my schedule, 
and I will do exactly what I want to do on my channel, and I do not give a shit what anyone has to say about it. It's, I don't, if I want to do a cooking vlog, I'm just going to do a cooking vlog. That's my example I always give, because I've done that before. I did a, a fashion jacket review once because I felt like it. When are you going to do another episode in your series of cooking with Fatima? Uh, we did have one filmed forever ago, but it didn't turn out. Aww. Um, but we'll do another thing sometime. It's just, that's, that's my show. I take it like it's, like it's year one YouTube, you know? It's, I do whatever I want to do. Mm -hmm. It's my fucking show. I'll do it if I want to. You don't need to like it. You don't need to watch it. That's okay. I don't blame anybody for not watching. I don't blame anybody for unsubscribing. You have no obligation to me. I'm a stranger on the internet that puts out videos that make me laugh, and I hope they make you laugh too. For the record, um, I echo that sentiment exactly. Yes. It's, you know, you, you can tell me you like a thing on my channel. You can tell me that you don't like a thing on my channel, and it's perfectly fine. Just know that... The ultimate decision on whether I do something or not is going to be whether I feel like it or not at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing personal against anybody. I love entertaining people. I just want to entertain people who have the same sense of humor as me. Do you know what I mean? It's nothing personal except for you. I specifically hate <laughs> you. You know yes, who you I, are. Yeah, I'm pointing. I, y most of you don't know who I'm pointing at, but I'm pointing at somebody. Jesus Christ, Delta Stream on Mag Meganium. What? <laughs> I don't even know who I'm pointing at, but I'm pointing at some motherfucker out there. You know who you is. <laughs> um. Oh, what was I saying? And then I'm sure someone will take this the wrong way. For some reason. So, I've noticed this now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I get more comments now of people that are like, man, you're always bitching. I wish I had a webcam on more, honestly, because I'm smiling through the whole thing. Because I think people take these things more seriously than I do. You know, like, I, I feel like I'm just matter of fact just saying, like, oh, this is just how I am, and that's okay, because we're all different, and I'm not judging anybody. But then people come in and they judge me based on that, and it feels weird to me, because it's... Like, I'm not judging anybody based on what your opinion is on how I view things and whatnot. I'm all cool with it. I, I accept that everybody's different. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know, I just feel like people take the internet more seriously than I do nowadays, you know? It's like people on the internet just can't have an opinion. Yeah, I don't know, I'm cool with different opinions. Someone in the Discord chat today, in main chat, um, again, it's the day that Steve was announced as a playable character. Oh yeah, I was watching Smash. that drama. Yeah, someone was saying, like, it's a joke character, and they they were upset about it in some way, and that that's, you know, they have, they have an opinion of they think it's a stupid addition. That's fine, I, I think other people in Smash, like, I don't necessarily think it's a stupid decision, it's just like, uh, would the 700th, um, Fire Emblem person who's a sword user be my first pick? No, but I get it, because I grew up with Fire Emblem, I like Fire Emblem, and I get that it's bigger in Japan, and it's not really targeted at me, you know? Mm -hmm. Banjo was targeted at me. I, I got my character, too, and other people got their characters, and that's all cool. Um... I don't think it was a joke character, and I disagreed with them on that because, no, it's like the most popular, or it's the highest selling video game ever, ever I think, ever. is Minecraft. Mm -hmm. So so although Steve as a character doesn't really have a, a character, I guess, that doesn't mean you couldn't do some really creative, fun shit with a Minecraft character in Smash. Like, from a gameplay standpoint, you could do some real cool shit, and from a marketing standpoint, yeah, it's the most popular video game ever. Of course people would be interested in that. So, joke character, I disagree with that. But if you got the opinion that it's a stupid addition, yeah, that's perfectly fine, you know? Now, if you want to go for the angle of joke character, meaning not a good character, let me point you in the direction of Dan Hibiki, everybody's favorite Street Fighter character, who wasn't even supposed to be a Street Fighter character. I think the lore behind Dan Hibiki is that he's... In create in like the era of cre or not era sorry the area of creation at a or took away a letter uh, he's supposed to be a reference to a different fighting game series yes uh, to Street Fighter yes but I can the, actually explain that whole thing if you want yeah go for it because uh, I think yeah, you're um, better suited for it yes because it's a reference to King of Fighters which is my fighting game series yeah um. That is why his early dialogue was all about how he wants to be the King of Fighters. So, like, the kayfabe explanation for Dan Hibiki, I think, is just he's, like, basically Hercule. I think he's just, like, a sham 
dojo instructor, basically, who doesn't, he effect, doesn't know he's in over his head. Yeah, something but to the, the effect of he thinks he's hot shit, but he's just shit. Yeah, whereas the, the shoot explanation is they're poking fun at King of Fighters, which was done by SNK, a different company, mm -hmm. um, because they also had a major character called Ryu. Or Ryu? Ryu? Ryo, I don't know which one. Rio, but it's spelt the same way, and so they they were taking a shot at them by by having like a discount Ryu character who talks about how he wants to be the king of fighters. Mm -hmm. That's the shoot explanation. The kayfabe in storyline explanation, I think, is just that he's like a karate instructor who's in way over his head, but thinks he's the greatest dude ever, like he's Hercule or something. Mm -hmm. And also, a lot of his his team, uh, sorry, not his team, Doi. A lot of his move set is all about taunting. So, yes. And I love Dan, by the character. way. He's a fun character. Dan is amazing. Yeah, and his song, his like theme in the old games was really good, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not even a Street Fighter fan. I just think he was awesome. It's, I don't, it, I don't care that he's... Yeah, I don't care that he's not... That he's poking fun at my favorite uh, fighting game series. It's just a really funny character. I like mm -hmm. him. I love that he's in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't play Dan, joke character. but he's just great. Yeah, it's fantastic that he's in the game. And people who are really good at, with Dan... That's an impressive feat. It's kind of like a bragging right, you know, to be able to say that you can be competitive with, like, a joke character. Yeah, it's like playing Hercule in Budokai Tenkaichi 3 against five uh, Red Patara characters, which I did. because, And the only reason <laughs> I was able to win was because it was a 60-second match. Uh, uh, also, I got farther against Winona. But she has a crawfish rifle Pokemon, ah. which is, of course, water type. Claw it has mother, mm -hmm. it has motherfucking hydro pump, mm -hmm. and it has minimize, which double raises its evasion. Yep, minimize got buffed. It sucks. So yeah, it's it's a water type, the worst thing for me to fight, uh, and it has hydro pump and minimize. So basically, what I'm saying is I'm going off to grind now. Was there a patch of grass over here? No, they must have moved in this version. Okay. Don't forget, you can also go get the Eviolite. Can I? Yeah, we looked it up last time that um, the Eviolite is just south of Mount Pyre, I believe. Um, oh, yeah, I could skip ahead and do that now. I don't need Fly yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm this stuck, I may as well. At least that way you can buff something like Clefairy or uh, Magmar's defenses. I know yeah. in competitive, there was an image I saw just the other day of a 2016 championships like spread between six different, or I think 10 different players, and they all had the exact same team, barring like a couple of differences. Let me pull it up real quick. That uh, sounds very boring. <laughs> yeah, that's competitive in a nutshell, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Are there just certain things that are simply, like, objectively way better? Yeah. And, unfortunately, they're usually legendaries. Yeah. I don't know what Sligu is, but I kind of love it already. He's a dragon type. He's from uh, Gen 6. And he'll only evolve via, uh, like, if he reaches a certain level within the rain, I believe. Okay, here it is. Uh, Mega Kangaskhan, Primal C uh, Groudon, Xerneas, which is the title legendary for X, Talonflame, Smeargle, and Chance, and, uh, sorry, and Clefairy was the first place finisher. And second place, we have Mega Kangaskhan, Salamence, Primal Groudon, Xerneas, Talonflame, and Smeargle. In third place, we have Mega Kangaskhan, Salamence, Primal Groudon, Xerneas, Talonflame, and Smeargle. Fourth, Mega Kangaskhan, Salamence, Primal Groudon, Xerneas, Talonflame, <laughs> Smeargle. Fifth, Mega Kangaskhan, Salamence, Primal Groudon, Xerneas, Talonflame, Smeargle. Sixth, Mega Kangaskhan, Salamence, Primal Groudon, Xerneas, Talonflame, Smeargle. Seventh place, Salamence, Primal Groudon, Xerneas, Talonflame, Smeargle, and Aegislash. Eighth place, Mega Kangaskhan, Salamence, Primal Groudon, Xerneas, Talonflame, Smeargle. So, the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> Also, also, by the way, I tried to run down to um, to go get that Evilite, or Eviolite. Uh, there's a trainer that just says, I can't let you pass until you beat Winona. Ah, lovely. For fuck's sake. Oh, so, uh, something hilarious just came to mind. This is actually a really funny story. Okay. Um, so I was, I was just thinking earlier about how 
you occasionally will get a comment where it's like, you know, don't bitch so much about comments and stuff. And I get it. I get it. No, no one comes for the bitching and everything. I try to, like, talk about the more fun stuff when it comes to dumb comments because I think there is a lot of humor to be found in dumb comments. So let me, let me show you what I mean when, when you sometimes hear a YouTuber say they get some truly heinous, stupid comments, right? Mm -hmm. And, and so, like, sometimes they maybe don't have as much benefit of the doubt for the comment section as they should. And I do think that you should give people in the comments uh, the benefit of the doubt, and I try to. I want to tell you guys about something that happened over the course of the last two weeks, and it has probably come to a head today, because this gives you an idea of how crazy some people are in the comments section. And any, any YouTuber who does this for a career has to deal with these sometimes. So, I... There was just, like, an innocuous comment on one of my Oblivion challenges, I think it was. Actually, yes, it was definitely an Oblivion challenge. Uh, it was a completely innocuous comment about premieres, where they just said, um, why do people dislike the premiere when it's not even up yet? They don't know if they like the video. Innocuous comment. I responded to that with, like, I know, right? Like, why like or dislike if you haven't seen the video yet? It seems like, uh... You know, you, you don't know if you like it, and if you don't know if you don't like it. I appreciate they're probably liking just to show their support and everything. But, you know, it's perfectly fine if you just want to wait and give it a chance before you go liking it. Mm -hmm. I said something along those lines of just saying, like, hey, there, there, there's nothing wrong with it. But, yeah, I you don't really know if you like the video yet until it's out. Um, some guy uh, responded to this. Okay, let's, let's come up with a, a fake name for this guy. I'm going to call him Toby. Uh, I don't know. I, I remember the, it, the the username was like first name, last name, and I don't know if it's a real name, so I really don't want to use that. Mm -hmm. uh, I get the feeling he was probably, I don't know, a teenage boy. Uh, he just comes across to me as that the way he's typing. So I, I really don't want to go using a name. Let's say Toby. Toby randomly responds to this thread, just responds to the, the person. I, I don't even think they responded to me. Just with this big paragraph about how um, I pronounced things wrong, and uh, what was it? I pronounced things wrong in the video, like a city name. There was a city name I pronounced wrong in the video, uh, and he kept going on about how uh, they say the name of the city in the game, so there's no excuse for me to get it wrong. And he went on this big, big rant about how he believes that I didn't play the run because otherwise I would know how to say it and there's simply no excuse. Hmm? Now, I, I, I left that thread alone because I thought that was just kind of a ridiculous accusation. And when I saw it last, like, there was no likes on that thing. And, like, two other people had responded just saying something along the lines to him of, like, what? And, like, how, how does that prove anything? Like, so I, I just left it alone. About a week later... I was reading through the comments on the Oblivion Challenge again, because I like reading through those comments. I usually, like a week after they're out, I check what the top few comments are, and and I interact with them a bit, and just, you know, if there's, for instance, if one of the top comments is a question, I'd love to answer it. Um, I, one of the top comments was still that one, because people are just talking about the premiere thing, but then I started reading through, and I realized Toby had started a flame war, and by started a flame war, I mean, he was talking to about 10 people by this point. The reply thread was, I think, 80 replies long. And he was replying to everybody with paragraphs on each individual one. Yeesh. Say, saying that, you know, no, he kept going harder and harder. That's around when he started saying, I must not be... It went from, I don't care about the runs, to I don't play the runs. Because I, I would simply know how to pronounce names if I played the runs. And it was so ridiculous, and everyone was pointing at every little thing, like, maybe he pronounced, like, whatever, a guy pronounced a thing wrong, it's a made-up city name in a video game, it's not that big a deal. Other people were just saying, this is petty, other people were saying, like, there's a billion reasons why he might have pronounced that wrong that make more sense than this. Mm -hmm. But he kept doubling down, and he kept, like, making it harder and harder, and he started throwing in insults, he started insulting other people, which is usually when I will get involved. Because, like, look, I, I do YouTube for a living. I knew what I was signing up for. I know I'm going to get yelled at with dumb shit. But they didn't sign up for that, you know? They, they're they just commenting on a YouTube video that they enjoy. They didn't sign up for that. So I finally just came and I'm like, dude, this, this is completely ridiculous. Like, I... 
the fact that I did not remember properly how to say the name of the thing that I recorded a week prior, you know, like a, a week later, I'm doing the voiceover for it, and I didn't remember the name of a made-up town and a made-up video game with a made-up name. I didn't remember how to pronounce it perfectly off the top of my head. It's not that big a deal, and it doesn't- No, Shogun doesn't need to learn Splash. <laughs> and, it, and it doesn't- It doesn't really prove anything, and I, I just have to- Don't- Like, look, you can insult me, but don't insult these people. They didn't sign up for that. Like, fucking be better than this. And he kept- He kept lashing out at people over and over and over. It was fucking nuts. And I just kind of left it alone eventually. And then- So I searched his name in my comment section. There's a section that every YouTuber has called comments. It just it aggregates in order every comment you get across all your videos, and you can search any username. Mm -hmm. I search his username because when I see someone being like really, really bad to other people, I'll search their name, and if I see that they have a long history of doing this, I'll just reply to one of them and just say like, hey, you're, you're being really shitty to a lot of strangers on the internet. Like, Please knock it off. And if they keep doing it, I will mute them on the channel so that it's like, their their comments just don't show up for anyone else at that point, because it's like, I don't want... If someone's just commenting, saying like, hey, I'm having a fun time at, on the video, or like, ah, oh, I like this part, and someone responds to them with, shut up, you fucking idiot, which happens a lot, by the way. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with some people? I just mute those people so that they don't show up on the channel anymore, because it's like, all you're doing is harassing other people at this point. Like, stop mm -hmm. that. You, you can insult me all you want, you can say all the criticism you want, you can say every video sucks. Don't reply to people who are just saying they enjoy the video and call them an idiot. Like, that's not cool. Um, just so let I them saw, be, I, like, a user on the internet. Don't let them be yeah. you. Don't ruin their fun, you know? Don't, don't make it, don't make their thing all about you. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, I searched his history on my channel, and I found that he comments every time I say anything wrong across, like, months of challenges. He would okay, do Okay, so he's the type of person who just loves to count- to point out when people are wrong. As if yeah. to say that he's in the right. Kind of. He- but he would use it to call me an idiot. And mm -hmm. do a lot of insults, and, like, I- I said uh, a Pokemon name- a couple Pokemon names wrong. He got really mad about that. Like, again, accusing of not playing the game. Accusing of all kinds of things, accusing of not caring, uh, all kinds of things, and I just, once I realized that, I replied to him back in that big thread, and I just said, like, I just realized that you have this long history of just insulting people, insulting me. Why does Empoleon also have Minimize? What the fuck? Um, oh god, he used it twice. Okay, anyway, uh, he's got this long history, I'm like, just don't, I just switched the argument, I'm like, okay, he's not gonna listen to me, I just said, You've been like, I'm seeing this comment thread, you've been really awful to me and other people for a long time. At the end of the day, don't do this. Like, you're being really mean to a bunch of strangers on the internet. You're assuming you know how all this YouTube stuff works, and you don't. You don't know how the videos are made. But you're assuming the most negative things you can based on it, and you're insulting everybody in your way. Treat strangers on the internet better than this. You're better than this, Toby. He got mad more. Other people just kept saying to him, like, look, I don't know why you're replying. Nobody's agreeing with you on this. Eventually, I I, I checked back because I started getting notifications again because I had replied in the thread again, and so it'll send me email notifications for the next few replies whenever I do that. Um, and I noticed all of his comments were gone on just that thread. Um, he he had left a few more comments insulting me on other, other videos. Mm -hmm. And I woke up to the emails for those, uh, because they were, like, added at me. But when I went to go check them on YouTube, they were gone. But I still had the email records of them because I haven't set that I get emailed for replies. So I still know they were there. So he insulted me, but deleted them before I could respond, and then deleted all of his comments in that specific thread, but just left old ones up. Presumably because he didn't want to hunt down wherever he left all the previous ones, which, understandable. But then I got an email this morning, and this is the part that will just blow your mind. Okay. I got an email from him this morning. It's definitely him. The The name on the email address is his username. And it's an unformatted paragraph about, at first, where he was saying, like, I'm really sorry. Like, something you said really got to me, and it was like, you're better than this Toby. Again, let's just say his name is Toby. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he, and it was this really thoughtful thing at first where it's like, 
you know, I, I grew up in Kentucky. And where I live in Kentucky, like, we're very, very stubborn and hot-headed. Like, I showed this stuff to my brother, and my brother was saying, like, you're being completely unreasonable. And I was thinking about you saying, like, you're better than this. Don't treat people like strangers on the internet like this. Mm -hmm. And I realized, yeah, I, I am being really ridiculous. And I, I was reading, I'm like, wow, like, this... This is honestly, like, really, really mature of him for what I think is probably, like, a 14-year-old kid having a really mature moment where you just step back and realize, like, I'm being really awful to somebody. And but then there's then an and then. But, but then, but then, he went into a paragraph about his years on the force and that he wants to be able to look, and there was, like, ellipses, like, like he's in a fanfic. And he started talking about how he wants to be able to look back at three years ago when he wore a badge on his shirt and uh, see that Toby from back then the mirror, the Toby that he was proud of. And like, he's it's getting into this full on, like, no, this is not real. This can't be real. Like, oh no. So, so I almost, okay, I'm so into the story now that I almost took my headset off because I just want to like put my hands on the top of my head. <laughs> Out of reflex, they'd be like, what is going on? Like, I uh -huh. need to I need to decipher this puzzle. Mm -hmm. So either he's trying to tell me that three years ago he was on the police force and he was maybe still on it and maybe discharged. I don't know. Or, so I'm either supposed to believe that this is the most immature police officer in the universe and that he hasn't pr been proud of himself in three years. Or that he realized he was being an asshole or that he didn't want me mad at him or something. And he decided the best way to save face was to open with a lot of like, wow, I'm, I, I really learned something, you know? And then followed up with lying about being a police officer. And I just, no police officer writes in an, un, in an unformatted paragraph and gets into arguments on Twitter like, Okay, I'm not gonna say no police officer. I'm gonna say- Brandon I'm does. <laughs> I am simply going to say that there is, I don't even wanna to come to a conclusion. My conclusion we, is- You can leave it open, I guess. 80% chance he sent me this email and he is lying to me to try and gain sympathy. 20% chance he is actually a police officer in Kentucky and that all you motherfuckers watching us from Kentucky right now better watch the fuck out. Because you gotta. Because the next time you get pulled over for like a routine traffic stop, it might be a straight up crazy person. <laughs> that. That was a roller coaster. That whole saga I went through with Toby. I have mm -hmm. not replied to the email yet. Because like literally, I was reading the email and I'm like, I, I was gonna reply to him and just say like. Like that's really mature of you. Like I'm, I, I'm really happy that there could be some kind of positive resolution to this. Like good on you, man. I, I can tell you're, you're probably pretty young, and I wouldn't have had that maturity when I was a teenager because I was, I was an asshole when I was a teenager. I was so selfish, and so I, I was like thinking of what I was gonna say as I was reading it. Like oh my god, these are this is the kind of conclusion I wish I could have come to when I was that young, and then it gets into this. I was wearing, like, I used to look at myself three years ago with, and be proud and see the badge on my shirt. And, like, I'm like, what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> like, I think just you started... just found your own Santa's deli bird. And, like, I, I was even thinking, like, I was going to go back in that thread and just update people and say, like, hey, I got this really touching email from Toby. I would say the username in that because that's that they know him as. I would yeah. just say, like, I got this really touching message from him and, like, I... You know, I just want you to know, like, hey, we've buried the hatchet. It seems like he realized he was being ridiculous and it's all cool. But the thing is, after the last time, like, after that time where he just sent a bunch of insults and then deleted them, presumably because in one of the insults, by the way, he said he reported me for harassment, which is against terms of service because that is obviously not true. I started to realize, oh, he realized that because he reported me as harassment and admitted to it and is flagrantly not harassment, he broke terms of service. And that's why he deleted his own comment to try and delete the proof. And so I had already set him to be muted by then because I'm like, because I woke up, I didn't see the email yet. And it's like, fucking, he's just breaking terms of service now. This guy's never going to learn. I don't want him harassing other viewers more. 
And so I was actually scrolling through the, the like, hidden user section of the channel, which is very hard to find, by the way. It's under Creator Studio settings and, like, a subcategory. Mm -hmm. I scrolled through all the muted users, of which I don't have many. It's mostly spam bots. His name isn't in there. So because of a YouTube bug, I can't find him to unmute him if I wanted to. But because of reading the email, I don't... I... I went from wanting to unmute him so he could state his case to the audience to not wanting to because he might be a crazy person. So long so, and short of it, uh, don't be a dick to people because if you do ooh, be a dick to people, uh, then you're going to be muted. And if you try to like make up for it, then you get lost in the bad YouTube like layout and we yeah, can't it's like, like, do it's, anything about it. it Just don't make so the mistake. Hard. It's so hard to have a productive conversation when you open it by insulting strangers. Like, mm -hmm. don't do that. Like, That's not okay.